Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Jedith, and this video is going to be sort of a continuation of my last video where I gave you a build that you can use in Mythic Plus if you're not enjoying the momentum playstyle, particularly in certain dungeons where, you know, using Felrush and Vengeful Retreating is not as easy as it might seem. So this build is actually going to be a bit more, a bit more geared to like Mythic Plus in general and more dungeons as a whole. And this is going to be a Glaive Tempest build. So we're going to start off with the talents here first. The left side, the class side, is pretty general. It's kind of the same thing we have in most of our builds. All the same stuff. Um, you can play around with this however you want. You could take Sigil of Misery and uh, Misery and Defeat if you want. You cannot take it. You can put those points elsewhere. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you have some wiggle room here to do whatever you want to do in terms of utility. Uh, for the spec tree, now this is where there are some differences, right? So you can see right off the bat, we're going down the left side. We're going into the Chaos Strike talents so we're getting improved chaos strike and critical chaos and then of course we're taking demonic appetite because we are going to be pressing chaos strike quite a bit and that's how we're going to get a lot of our fury generation and we're also going to go down the right just a little bit here to get the uh, blade dance talents so we're getting trail of ruin which is always a must and dancing with fate again very good uh, all these these three talents here are just exceptional for death sweep damage and you may notice that uh, we aren't taking any of the immolation aura talents uh, we're not even going down to like any means necessary so because we're passing by all that we're not going to take fellfire heart we're not going to go into burning hatred we don't want those because we're not taking the other talents that kind of go hand in hand with them so we're going to continue moving down the left side and we're taking initiative um, again initiative is one of those talents where you can't really sacrifice it without like really sacrificing a lot of dps um, so we're taking this one, and we're going to be taking these three in the middle, Chaotic Transformation, of course, Looks Can Kill, and Furious Gaze, these are the I-Beam ones, and then of course we get Blind Fury. So all of these work together, and they're working really well because of our tier set. Uh, and then we're going to go, keep going down the left here, we're taking Unbound Chaos and Tactical Retreat. And you may have noticed that we are taking Improved Fell Rush as well, um, this is just because we're taking Unbound Chaos, and that's just kind of where the point lands. You know, you could put it into momentum if you want, but I think the whole point of this build is to get away from momentum, right? So um, that's where we're going to put that point. Um, yeah, you could maybe play around with this one if you wanted, but I, I think that's probably where it's just going to stay for now. And then we're taking Chaos Theory, which is actually pretty decent damage. You'd be surprised at, uh, you know, how well this does. Um, looking at some of the Sims, like it's pretty competitive with some other talent choices. Uh, and then, of course, we're taking Know Your Enemy. We need that. That's what makes crit valuable for us. And then, of course, Essence Break. And we're taking Glaive Tempest. So um, this is basically how we're going to keep up our AoE sort of cleave damage in with this build. Otherwise, we are we don't have much, right? We don't have much. We have Death Sweep and uh, we do have Inner Demon, which was buffed recently. And it was buffed by about 30%. And that buff alone is kind of what makes this build in particular and some of the other sort of um, hybrid builds that you've been seeing people play in Mythic Plus. It's what makes them a bit more competitive now this season than they were last season. So we're definitely taking Inner Demon for that cleave. And between that and, you know, Glaive Tempest, we are pretty set in terms of, uh, you know, cleave in Mythic Plus. And then we have our Death Sweep. So, yeah, this is the build here. Um, I will make a cheat sheet for this. The cheat sheet will be in my Discord, just like all my other cheat sheets. You know where to find them. Join the Discord, get the WoW roll, scroll down. To the builds channel and you'll see them pinned in there so the rotation for this build is very simple it's going to be very familiar to you hopefully with some minor tweaks so you're still going to be doing your essence break combo that's the most important thing of this build as with any build that takes essence break that is your main source of damage if you're not up to snuff on what the essence break build is and you want to like a little refresher i'll put a link to the video i made up here um, it has quite a bit of views now because i think people keep going back to it to try to try to make sure that they're doing it correctly um, so go check out that video it breaks it down step by step uh, almost like gcd by gcd of what your essence break combos should look like and how the buffs overlap it's it's pretty helpful um, so other than that you're gonna have glaive tempest and this is basically just something you want to use on cooldown ideally inside of initiative windows so you can get the extra crit and crit damage and uh that's that's it so yeah, it's just like any other build that you're going to be playing, right? You're, you're doing your essence break window and you're dropping Glaive Tempest. Now, you want to make sure you're not 
wasting a GCD inside of Essence Break by dropping Glaive Tempest in that Essence Break window. Because you only have four seconds, right? You have four seconds inside of Essence Break to do your Death Sweep and then your Annihilations. So you don't want to take any of those up with a, a Glaive Tempest. It's a, it's a complete waste, right? So you want to make sure you're dropping Glaive Tempest outside of Essence Break, but still inside of your initiative windows. So um, we'll go over the opener. It's pretty simple, but I know you guys love openers, like I said in my last video, so I will go over the opener with you. So we'll read through it first. I'll put it up on the screen here. You're going to Sigil of Flame to generate Fury before the pull. Then you're going to Immolation Aura as you enter combat. Now you can use Sigil of Misery here if you're talented into Misery and Defeat. If you're not, don't worry about it. Um, you can, if you're like having trouble getting this opener down, you can take that out for now. Uh, put the talent somewhere else and don't really worry about it too much. It's, it's a minor thing. After Sigil of Misery, you're going to use your Combat Potion or your Iridius Fragment. If you got that trinket from uh, the new Mythic Plus dungeons, you want to use that at that spot there. Then you're going to Fell Rush to consume Unbound Chaos. Then you're going to Glaive Tempest. Now your Glaive Tempest is placed right there because you're still in your initiative window from engaging in combat, right? Then you're going to I-Beam to enter Demonic. Then you're going to use Annihilation to trigger Inner Demon. Don't forget we have that Talented here, so you want to you don't want to waste Inner Demon procs. If you get a proc, you want to use it. So you're I-Beaming to get into Demonic, Annihilation to trigger Inner Demon. Then you're going to do the classic Vengeful Retreat and Essence Break at the same time type of thing, right? Try to go through the mob's hitbox if you can, so you can stay in melee range of the mob. And when you land, you're going to Death Sweep, Metamorphosis, Death Sweep, then Annihilation, because we got another Inner Demon proc from Meta. Then you're going to I-Beam. Then from there, you can use the Hunt. You can use, you know, your Death Sweep if it's up again. You can Annihilation. Then you just go about your, your standard uh, rotation, right? And that standard rotation, again, we'll go over it uh, just quickly. You're just going to I-Beam to enter Demonic. Vengeful Retreat backwards through the pack to reactivate Initiative. Now, if Essence Break is on cooldown, the next step is going to be Glaive Tempest. Because like I said, you want to get Glaive Tempest inside of your uh, Initiative windows. And that is triggered by Vengeful Retreat. If Essence Break is up, you do not want a Glaive Tempest. At that point, you want to Vengeful Retreat and use Essence Break to start your Essence Break window. Then you would Death Sweep, Annihilation twice. And at that point, then you want to use Glaive Tempest if it came off cooldown, you know, inside of uh, your Essence Break window. So that's pretty much it. Some other things to keep in mind is that you can try to pair the Hunt with Initiative if possible. It's very minor. You don't have to like really put too much thought into that. I wouldn't hold the Hunt at all. Like just if it's up, send it. Um, that is pretty much it, guys. It's a very easy build. It is super competitive now. Um, like I said, because of the Inner Demon change that we got, the extra 30% on top of that makes it very good for cleave in mythic plus there are some things you have to consider like if the sim doesn't account for so a couple things the sim doesn't account for mobs moving out of glaive tempest which can happen from time to time it also does not account for mobs moving out of inner demon or your inner demon missing which is totally possible the hitbox on it is a little strange and it can miss from time to time um so that is just something to keep in mind when you're playing this build um it's not much you can really do about it but just uh keep it keep it in mind when you're playing the build um but it is still very close to the throw glaive build if you're kind of feeling exhausted on the momentum throw glaive thing uh, i hear you i feel you this is a great substitute for it and i think you will find some really good results with it and uh yeah like i said the cheat sheet will be in my discord along with the import code so you can import it straight into your game and start playing right away don't forget you can modify it a bit get rid of sigil flame if you want or not Sigil of Flame, Sigil of Misery. You definitely want Sigil of Flame. Get rid of Sigil of Misery, and uh, maybe you can move Improved Fell Rush if you don't want it. It's up to you. I'll leave that up to you guys. All right, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Make sure you sub to the YouTube channel. And hey, if you guys are playing Diablo 4, um, I started a new YouTube channel where I'm going to be posting Diablo 4 content, hopefully soon. Uh, I'm still playing through the game, and I'm trying to get leveled up I'm falling behind my friends at this point because I'm here making this YouTube video and not in Sanctuary grinding demons. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go do that. But if you guys are interested in Diablo 4 content from me, I will put a link to that channel down below in the description. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.
Peace.